Hello, um, this is our newest uh, AOS T01, uh, which is the AOS T01 uh, for a custom build for a laptop screen repair. Uh, this is a newer version, as you can see, uh, we have all this uh, uh, seal screen prints and uh, make it much easier to identify which was which. This is for a um, emitter tester, this is for CCFL. Uh, this one's actually uh, for a uh, to use with our uh, LED uh, other wire harnesses called MS a uh, four five three uh, four MS four three eight EST to test LED screens. So basically, this is travel input is similar to the uh, the we have completely redesigned the inverters inside, and uh, so this circuitry uh, has much more sensitive in terms of uh, uh, isolate problem between inverter and backlight lamps. As you can see, uh, this one does not, the newer version doesn't have a grounding wire anymore because uh, it doesn't need it anymore. Because as I said, we have completely redesigned the circuitry. To do the self test, it's quite simple. You just connect the uh, CC inverter tester to CCF tester together. And then you just apply the voltage. You fire up, you see the light was light. This is indicate power. Okay, so it's quite simple to use it. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to identify isolate problem be, uh, on the laptop screen. Well, this is a Toshiba laptop screen. We're going to show you how to use this AOST01 uh, to isolate problem between the backlight lamp inverter. We have two um, accessories that is special for Toshiba. It's called wire adapters. This Toshiba has a problem when you fire up the computer, there's no image at all not even a fraction of seconds. So uh, first of all, we're gonna try to um, show you a um, how to isolate problem. This this kind of symptom could cause either by a um, by a backlight lamp on the screen or by the inverter itself. So um, let's connect, test the inverter first. In order to test the inverter, we need this type of the wire harness because this is a little bit older Toshiba, they're using slightly different type connectors. So you're gonna test use this inverter tester. Okay. And then remove this one. Okay. And then again the symptoms no display. And then you're gonna connect back to the inverters. Okay, it's connected back. You can see we do not have to apply the power because we're gonna test it in use the built-in backlight lamp to test this uh, inverters so that we do not have to apply the power but we do have to power up the laptop computers if the inverter is good this lamp should light up okay so let's fire up the computer see what happened oops see the light lights up so that means this inverter is good as you see we only using a built-in lamp up connect to a uh, the assistant to Shiba inverter as a low and turn on the computer on the light lights up that means inverter is good so the problem should be the lamp we can do the com we can confirm it to test the lamp so let's shut off here okay so we can disconnect it now we're gonna test the lamp this is the lamp see if good or not because according to we just diagnosed it the problem must caused by the lamp so we're gonna use this small wire adapters Okay. See, when you purchase AOS T01, we do have, when you add to shopping cart, we do have a, 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 a suggestion an item with fuel, this wire adapter. I think you, uh, it's better for you to buy. So now, because we're going to test this lamp and using a CCF tester, so we had to apply 12 volts. Connect 12 volts. So if the lamp's good, you fire up the, the screen, you see a, a, a backlight lamp. If the, the, I mean, if the lamp's good in the screen. If the lamp's bad, you don't see anything. Let's turn on. See, nothing. Okay, again, try again. Nothing, the light doesn't come on. So it's confirmed the problem is caused by the backlight lamp. And so uh, just go replace the backlight lamp if you solve the problems. Hi, when you purchase AOS T02, I, we would also suggest that buy this following items. So you can test other screens, a uh, backlight lamp. Uh, we just showed a video, this is for Toshiba or some older shop uh, displays. 
uh, one for lamb, one for inverters. This is uh, uh, this is MS four zero one. This is MS four four four. This is MS one nine four, and this is one nine six. Okay. So anyway, uh, if you go to the site, you can see the all the part numbers listed. Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to test the lamps. Okay, using the LSD two for other besides the laptop screens. And first, we're gonna try to test a. Um, this backlight reflectors. This is one that you know usually you pull out from the dash top display, 17 inch, 20 inch, 19 inch, 22 inch, but this one's 15 inch. So this one is this type of connector, so we gotta use 196, 194. So you connect to it, because this is two lamps, we can only test one lamp at a time. So you connect to it. Okay, you test one lamp at a time in this case, so you're gonna connect to a CCFL tester. Okay. Okay, here, here we go. All right. So one at a time. Apply the power. If the lamp's good, you fire up the lamp. You light up. It's good. This one's good. So you test the other one. Good. So this lamp's good. So the problem causing by a display for other size, a 15 inch, maybe that's an inverter because we already test this good. So you can test the other one. Or you can also test this, test the back lamp in, in inside the screen. You don't have to pull the back lamp out. For example, this is this is a 15, 12.1 inch screen and has this type of connector. Then that way you use a, uh, what we call it, a MS196 wire harness. So we're gonna connect uh, here, same thing. Okay, uh, kind of just test one at a time. Okay, then you flick over. I'm, I'm not sure you can see it. See that? It's flick. This lamp's good, so we test the other one, the bottom one. As you can see, you can also. Okay, just turn it on. Good. So, this actually show you how to use this one to test a bigger size screen and between uh, a uh, besides a laptop screen okay uh, this one also for this screen can test LED screen backlight but uh, you just need the additional what we uh, the uh, wire harness for it's called MS 438 EXT um, I'm gonna show you I have one of 15 inch here I mean uh, this is a 16 inch uh, uh, a uh, Samsung LTN 160806 uh, we just can we can test the backlight lamp because most of the LED when they have a problem they all they usually have a LED backlight problem. Of course, you know, be uh, other uh, uh, high failure will be the you know physical damage on the screen itself. But other than physical damage, usually they have a backlight lamp issues. So you connect this MS uh, MS four three eight one end to the screen. This is forty pin. Okay. Now you connect the six pins to here. Okay. If the LED backlight lamp good, you fire up. You should light up. So it's good. So maybe you can see it better here, see? It's good. So AOST01 is quite easy to use. It, uh, you know, it's really convenient to use. It's not too much set up, uh, but uh, like not like AOST02, it requires a little bit more time to set it up, And but you know, you can test it on a long screen. Uh, that will be it. Thank you for watching.